Hi, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a review and I actually bought fake Gymshark leggings, but I didn't know that I bought gym, fake Gymshark leggings. I was at the gym the other day, I was training one of my clients and this girl stopped me and she was like, oh my god, I love these leggings. I was wearing the flex and I'm going to put the kind that these are. I think these are called Inspire. I don't know. I'll put it down below somewhere and uh so you know what these leggings are called but they are gymshark and um anyways so she's like oh my gosh where'd you get your leggings and then i was like oh i got them from gymshark i was like but just make sure that you only get them from gymshark because other sites will sell fake ones so i didn't ever know that until it actually happened to me it's good that it happened to me so it doesn't happen to you and i can protect you from getting fake gymshark leggings and the way that it happened to me is actually because like, you know, when you buy Under Armour, you can buy it at Macy's, you can buy it at Dick's, you can buy it at Academy, you can buy it at JCPenney's, um, well, I don't even know all the other places. Uh, Ross carries it, I believe Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I don't go to those places that often because I don't have one close to me. Um, but you can get Under Armour pretty much anywhere, so I didn't know if it was that kind of deal. And since I do, um, I am in the fitness industry, I constantly get like fitness ads for all kinds of stuff on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. So one day, actually it was a couple days, they had a thing where they were like a 50% off Gymshark leggings off multiple sites. It could have been just one person running those multiple sites or I don't know how, it was, how they were doing it or it was just multiple sites that were doing it. I don't know. Um, and they were like 50% off uh, Gymshark leggings, you know, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good deal um, because I think uh, I'll put the prices on this actual pair, the uh, regular price is I believe 60 or $66, so I was getting them for like $40, so it was a good savings, um, but they were marketing them as real Gymshark leggings, and I didn't think anything of it because it was like, you know, it was called Gym Apparel. Uh, there, like I said, there was a bunch of different sites. Uh, you know, it sounded like, you know, real companies that were selling gym apparel, <laughs> obviously. And they all looked on the website, it looked like real Gymshark leggings. It's because I own Gymshark leggings. So I knew, you know, these are, they, they looked really real. So until you actually get them, then there's slight differences where you'll know and I'll point those out to you and then um, I'll show you each one so you know. So if you're going to get Gymshark leggings, make sure you just order them from the site so you don't get fake ones because it's better just, even if you're going to save $20, it's not worth it if they're not going to hold up. I'm going to go ahead and give my review on these. I think these are really cute, really great. It says Gymshark on the side. It says has a little look down the front. Have the little holes down the sides or like little ribbing that's cool they go up a little bit higher than the flex ones which is really cool because if you want to wear a sports bra at the gym and you'll be a little bit more modest and like I was just really modest like I'll have like a coach's jacket or a long sleeve or sweaters or something like that sport it's still sporty you know or like v-neck shirts I mean you've seen my video so the only way I'd wear like a crop shirt or something like that is if that like a boot camp class or some certain clients I could do that with but not like my in-home clients but with these being so high like I could wear a crop shirt and it wouldn't look inappropriate so See, and you can't even tell that it's actually a crop sweater because they're so high. And even the ones where I have, uh, it's not this one, but I have another one and I did a video on it. It was a Forever 21 one and it goes up like that and that's still not like a lot of skin to show. It still looks appropriate, you know? So that's one benefit of having the having these another thing is they're really 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 hard to get on you have to like actually work to get them on so this is the second pair of the leggings um the actual fake ones the only difference is this comes up up a little higher i literally wore these one time and the gym shark if you can see right here it started peeling so i'm literally just gonna peel this off but i wore them one time and i hung them up and i'm like i'm doing a video on these leggings because I didn't want this to happen to somebody else. Like I said, they go up a little higher, which could be a good thing 
if you are if you want to wear a sports bra to the gym and you want to be like a little bit more modest but i don't recommend you buying fake ones because obviously if they were basically they even them being 40 dollars it wasn't that much off i think they're regularly 60 i want to say so it's 20 dollars off but if you're getting fake ones and it's like you know unless you really want it to go higher and you pay the extra but you're gonna have to rip off the gym shark so this is the back so here's the holes they look the same the bottom looks the same on there that looks the same so they did a really good job of making it look alike and maybe if i like even though i only wore them once like right when i took them off um Maybe if I would have known like fabric glue or something like that, maybe I could have salvaged that part. I'm still going to wear these because I spent money on them. And I, like I said, I live in leggings. Like I wear this, my work clothes and my workout clothes. So I'm still going to wear them. Uh, I actually reported them to my bank because I was just like, I want to send these back and I want my money back and all this because they're selling Gymshark leggings and they're not really Gymshark leggings. And you're going in thinking you're buying Gymshark leggings. So do not order from a third party sender. These are still, they are still really hard to get on as well. Like they don't just slide in. You have to like actually work and pull them up and work to get them on. So yeah, but these are those. This is what they look like. I mean, they're charging the exact same half price. Like I got the, these, they charge these the same price that I got the other Gymshark leggings during the Black Friday sale. So let's compare the two. I definitely like that they don't outline your um, curves as much as the other ones, but I mean, you can't get away from that, you know, if that, you know, that's just the way your body's shaped. So, um, but it's, I feel like these are less noticeable in that. So yeah, definitely. So this is, and this is the bottom. And that's what these look like. These are really, really hard to get on. Um, over time, it gets a little bit easier, but they just don't slide right on. So if you are, you know, using, if you are a trainer and you're using these, then obviously it's, it's nice to have the luxury of just being able to like hurry up and put them on and go out the door. So this will actually take a little bit of finessing to get them on. I think these are great leggings. Um, for the price point though, I would just go with the flex ones because they are cheaper and they're just as good it's not that big of a difference where you're like oh my god these are like so amazing these look so beautiful these look so gorgeous like it's not like that where i would be like okay i'm gonna spend the extra 20 dollars to get these you know what i mean versus i they look just as good as the flex ones Maybe the Fox ones maybe look a little bit better. It just depends on the person, depends on the day, depends what top you're wearing with them and the look that you're going for. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I wouldn't buy another pair of these just because the price point. Yeah, that's pretty much the number one reason why. So, um, and it takes a second to get them on and I don't have that kind of time <laughs> in the morning. So I'm going to take these off and put some shorts on and I'm going to show you the comparisons of how you can spot the big Gymshark leggings. These are Under Armour and the sports bra if you're wondering that these are from Victoria's Secret. I did a video on those. Show you really fast the difference. Okay, so these are the fake ones, which I didn't know, which is unfortunate, but good for you guys. So, um, and then these are the real ones. So this is what it looks like inside out. Okay, in the fake ones, it has the, um, it says, basically it says small, and it like, see, even this thing is coming up right here, and I mean, it's in the inside of the pants, no one would ever see this, but still, I mean, it says made in China, at, I'm pretty sure this company is out of Australia, I want to say, um, so yeah, the Gymshark Row ones do not have any marking on the inside, okay, uh, that's the first one. The real ones have a tag at the very bottom, which I would cut this, and it has the actual Gymshark sign, and it has the tag, and all the leggings, even the flex ones, have these, but in the flex ones, it's in the very back, uh, like, inside uh, this big.
big plastic one. So that's the real ones. Say hi. And anyways, she has her little XOXO shirt on. She's ready for Valentine's Day. So that's exciting. And I'll try to film again before Valentine's Day hits. Okay, so let's just finish this video and sh so I can show you so you can make sure you do not get any fake gym shark leggings. So, you know, like sometimes people will sell on like Facebook and stuff like that. So that's good to know if anybody does ever like sell these and you'll know how to spot real ones and fake ones. And like I said, you wouldn't know this right off the bat, but you would have to really, really examine them to be able to tell. But um, these are supposed to be like the exact same style. But like I said, right here, Gymshark is like coming off, which like I said, I'm still going to wear these because I had to pay for them and I couldn't get my money back. I tried to report it to my bank and they gave me my money back and then they ended up uh, for like two or three weeks later, they took it back out of my bank account and I had no way to really, I would have to like go through all this stuff to investigate and all this stuff to get, find where I had got those and the number and it was just too much yeah it was just too much but you guys benefit from that so that's good okay so and it's almost seriously almost identical here's the side here's the side it's kind of hard to tell because these are black and the other ones are gray but it almost looks almost identical they both have the holes they both have the holes just like so alike that here's the bottom of the other ones like close up there we go now we got them in. See, here's the bottom of those ones, and here's the bottom of the other ones, just like that. And the lines, and these have the lines. So they're almost identical. The only difference is, is you get a tag in the bottom, that I showed you the plastic tag. You get the, this is like even this one in the back is coming off like they did it in the back in the back but you can tell like but I've worn these once and I've washed them but I hand washed them but it's you can tell like this is not going to come off this is already coming off this is on the Gymshark side this is you know coming off so anyways those are the two comparisons so now you know um how to protect yourself from getting a fake Gymshark leggings. So, um, and actually when I got this pair, I bought this pair first and then I got this other pair. Um, and I realized, I was like, these aren't real Gymshark leggings. Um, because I had bought some Gymshark Flex ones before. So I was like, I was curious. I was like, I don't think these are real. Just because they didn't have the tag on the inside, the Gymshark tag, like I said, that they always have. I was like, I don't know if these are real. Well, then these came and they did have the Gymshark type. They didn't have it like they normally have it, like I said, in the back. They just had it down here so that I knew. And then when it started coming apart, then I was like, okay, yeah, these are not real ones. So, thank you so much for spending time with me today. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I will have some more videos coming. And I am so excited to film some more. I think the next video, oh, the next video is probably going to be a Fitbit review, and then shortly after that, I am filming. I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, Y'all know that I do angel competition bikinis when I compete. They're doing a fashion show, and I am so, 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 so honored. Out of 2,000 girls that applied, I made it to the, the um, second round to down to 400 girls, and they only pick 100, so... I have to do a video, so that video will probably be coming out. Some more dance videos will be coming out. Lots of fun stuff in store for this channel. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and click your bell notifications. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.